If you want to view real-time earthquakes in Google Earth, this is how you do it. First of all, you must have a current, up-to-date install of Google Earth. Then, go to this website. And I'll give you a minute to write that down. Okay, once you get there, look on the right side, and here's your options. You have earthquakes for the past seven days, magnitude 1.0 or bigger, or the past 30 days, and their magnitude 2.5 or bigger. And if you go down, that's, these are pretty much the two that you want to deal with. I go with the past seven days, the 1.0 or bigger, colored by age. Double click. And if you look down here, it's loading up the file. As soon as the file's done, all you have to do is open the file up. Oh, there, now it's done. It was taking a minute to load. When you double-click the file, it comes into Google Earth. Now, this process takes a minute. But be patient. Okay, now it's opening. Close out the tips. Now if you come and look over here on the left hand side, in your temporary places you now have what's called earthquakes. And if you look at it, you got the make sure this box is checked. This box. Um, I don't do the tectonic plates. You can if you want, but I don't. Okay, once that is in your temporary places, then come to it. You can right click on it, click save to my places, and now it is in your places. And if you zoom in, pull your slider over, you will see that these little dots are all earthquakes. The ones that are red are from the past hour. The ones that are orange are the past day. The ones that are yellow are the past week. And that's how you see real-time earthquakes on Google Earth. Now, when you open Google Earth back up, you might have to come over to your places and double-click the earthquake and to get them to load. So that's how you do it. Thanks, and have a great day.